Hey guys, this is Terry. Welcome to week 5 of my weekly market outlook. And uh, in this week, I'm going to analyze a few currency pairs as well as uh, gold and uh, uh, US stock, which you guys should be very familiar with uh, using harmonics. So yeah, it's been a long time since I last did a video, probably months, uh, as I was busy doing my company expansion across uh, China. So uh, I'm back now and uh, this year I'll be traveling a lot lesser and uh, I'll I'll have more time to actually do some analysis with you guys and I hope that you guys will benefit from it yep. so uh, first and foremost I want to take a look at uh, Euro Dollar so as you guys uh, might know uh, last uh, Friday you know we have uh, Trump talking the US president and uh, the dollar actually came down so from the US dollar chart uh, what I see is that uh, potentially there should be a correction Euro Dollar upwards, Dollar downwards so what I'm expecting is uh, probably this uh, channel could be tested yeah, or even a little bit higher yeah. so for next week euro dollar uh, my bias is bullish and uh, I'm actually looking for this uh, bearish, pa bearish shock pattern to complete uh, before we can actually sell this with the trend so probably it could go to 112 so meanwhile, uh, you have to wait, and uh, the wait might be a week, two weeks, or maybe three weeks, I'm not sure. What I can't do is to predict time, but uh, what you can do is uh, maybe you know look for buying opportunities uh, at the low of the channels. So let me extend this a little bit. Yeah. Okay, so every time Euro comes down to this channel, you know, there are some you know, people buying it up. It has, it has happened about three times now. Yep. So next week, I hope that uh, any pullback into this channel will be a potential good you know, buying opportunity. Until it reaches uh, the 112 level, which is the completion of the bearish shock, uh, I will not be looking to sell Euro. And you should be doing the same, especially if you are trading harmonics. So this is what I have on Euro. Uh, a great uh, risk to reward depending on where to get in minimum one is to one but if you try to do the short I mean you try to sell high around 1.12 here you know probably you can get easily a one is to three which to reward on this setup so good luck for euro on you guys yeah. next up I'm gonna talk about uh, Aussie dollar Okay, so uh, what I see in Aussie dollar is very, very similar in what I see in Euro dollar. Dollar is gonna come down, and uh, I expect the the dollar, you know, the Aussie dollar to go up, and it just happens to also, you know, complete a shock pattern somewhere around seventy-seven fifty. Yeah, this is how the shock pattern looks like. So for this setup, uh, it's pretty straightforward. Uh, I have no really good reasons for me to buy right now. But uh, if it comes to seventy-seven fifty, about two hundred pips off the, the the close on Friday, I will be looking to sell this. And uh, some questions that you guys might have is: Do I use a pending order or do I wait for some form of reaction before I I sell a harmonic or to buy a harmonic trip? So. <coughs> You know, I, I learned from Scott Carney directly, who is the founder of Harmonic Trading. So you always tell me that uh, a PRZ is only a potential reversal zone. So you have to really look out, like you know, what price, how price reacts when it touches the PRZ. If <coughs> sorry, I had a cough. If it does not react off the PRZ, probably you do not have a trade. Uh, sometimes it might linger around the PRZ for a while before being rejected. Uh, you can use the RSI as a gauge. You know, once it leaves the R the over border over sold zone that might be your trigger to enter the trade yeah, but if it just you know bashes above the zone or bashes below the zone you know that eh, the market is not reacting to this potential reversal zone and uh, you know uh, I should not be going in and uh, going in will likely be a very low probability trade so that's how you're gonna trade harmonic setups no pending orders pending orders are for lazy people and uh, most of the time you know it will not work out unless you are trading with the trend yeah so for Aussie dollar if you took look at, take a look at the daily chart uh, 
I'm actually doing doing all daily setups for this video. Okay, that's in a big range, so we are selling at the top of the range. Stop loss has to go above. I'll put all my, my stop loss right above it, maybe 78.50. Yep, and uh, profit target is about 72. Yep. So this is how I'm going to trade Aussie dollar. Big range, just keep trading the range. Okay, next up, uh, I have Sterling Aussie on my radar. Sterling Aussie. No, sorry. Yeah, Pound Aussie. So this is a... Uh, I see a potential shark pattern again. Uh, it's, it's a coincidence that uh, all the setups I'm looking at this week are all sharks. So this is the week of the shark and uh, I'm a shark hunter. Yeah. So what I see is the potential buy of this shark pattern at around 1.58. So you see this uh, last, you know, uh, on the last week, you can see Pound Aussie going up for three days. Yeah, but what what I feel is that probably it's just a retracement up to this zone here. Yep. where it will maybe do something like this, you know, go up, hit the zone, come down to complete this shock pattern. So next week, if you have to trade this pair, wait to buy. Or if you're too eager, you know, uh, when it comes to the 1.66 level, you can consider selling a small position. But take note that if you short around 1.66, your stop loss, you know, the risk to reward factor will be not so nice, you know. This will be your risk. Let me map it out for you. This will be your risk. And uh, your reward is probably 1 is to 1. So if you don't like 1 is to 1 trade and in your trading rule, your trading journal, your trading you know, diary, you tell yourself, I must take a trade which has at least a 2 is to 1 risk to reward. So this is a trade that probably you have to skip. But if you wait to buy it, I assure you that you get a minimum of 1 is to 3 on your risk to reward. So it depends on how you want to trade this. These are the two ways I'm going to trade this pair. And uh, you can choose to follow me. Yep. Okay, so this is Power Z. Uh, if you buy the low here 1.58, I'm really targeting you know, at least uh, 1.65, 1.68 as my reward. So potentially a uh, 600 to 700 pips move of it. Yeah. Next up, uh, I have gold. You know, I always, you know, I try to avoid reading news on Facebook, Twitter, or all this finance website because uh, I guess most people who write these articles, they do not put their money on the line and they do not trade on their own. So uh, I analyze, you know, all these pairs, you know, use, using my system, which is harmonics. And I try to stay away from all these news and rumors because most of the time it isn't of any use to you and it, it cannot it cannot help you to profit. Whereas a system which you have back tested for many years and forward tested for a long time, it gives you confidence even though some weeks you might be losing, some trades you might be losing. But you know in the long term, uh, you know that you have a edge over the market and uh, you keep on trading the same system again and again. That's how you become better in trading. Sometimes good trading is pretty pretty boring. Just keep following the rules. Yep. So for go, you know, I see a bounce off the lows here, one one two five. So what I'm really watching around is, uh, I I like to see a pushback all the way up to the channel high, where this the level that I'm looking to sell. Yep. So if I choose to sell here, you know, uh, just last month I actually posted a a go trade to buy between 1000 to 1050 yep. so this is how it looks like this is also a sharp pattern yep. so it could complete about 1045 it can go a bit lower sharp pattern can go all the way to 113 which you know brings us back to about 1000 bucks on go so there are actually two zones here that you can watch to potentially buy one is the 1045 One is at one thousand, around one thousand yeah, dollars. These are the two zones. So, uh, short term, I'm looking for selling opportunity. Hopefully, it does it completes a pattern to sell somewhere around here, about thousand three, thousand two eighty, thousand three. If it completes here and it comes down, I'm aiming for a thousand bucks for gold. So, uh, I'm not bullish on gold. I'm bullish on stocks. Gold should come down when stocks are going up. So, temporary we have we have some correction, but I'm super bullish on stocks. In 2017 and uh, you will see how it, how it unfolds yeah, if I have a change of plan you know you get to see all my change of thought in my video so please stay tuned to my videos again and again 
uh, I'm running out of time now, so uh, I have a last setup on a uh, Google, uh, which is uh, on listed on the Nasdaq. So uh, what you can do is that uh, right now I have a report that uh, you know uh, <coughs> is in the link below. So uh, if you download the report, you can see what I feel about Google. You can recap everything that I have just talked about in the form of a PDF report. And this report, you know, uh, I have uh, over three hundred dollars every single week. So there must be something good about it that uh, probably you can benefit of it. So if you want to see what's my analysis on Google and to recap whatever I've just said without replaying the whole video, maybe you prefer reading, or maybe you are in the office and it's not convenient for you to listen to this video, you can probably download the report and, and read it on the go, anywhere you go, at everywhere. Yeah. So I'm done for this week. Uh, I just want to do probably a, a short uh, advertisement for my upcoming event. I have a preview seminar workshop in uh, Singapore on the 16th of February. So if you are located in Singapore and you want to hear me speak live, I will be talking this time around. Uh, currently, I just released it today and uh, there are five registered members to come for my workshop. It's free of charge. I guarantee that you will learn something off this uh, workshop, two hours long, learn some good knowledge. If you want to learn more in depth from me to learn how to treat harmonic patterns, you know, I mean, I welcome you to my workshop in the end of late February. Yeah. So thank you so much for watching my video. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to hear from you your comments. Please leave it in the YouTube feedback comments section. If you have any questions for me, please direct it in the comments section. Thank you so much.